Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Vanessa and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I teach entrepreneurs how to start their own hair care line and cosmetic brand. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys all about talking to vendors, things that you guys should be asking when you're reaching out and looking for suppliers for your businesses. And yeah, just giving you guys my advice, things you should be asking and looking for when you guys are trying to decide on vendors and places where you should be buying your products, your ingredients, and your tools. But before we get into this video, I have to say thank you guys so much for all the love on all the videos. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, to reaching out to me and telling me how I'm inspiring you guys to just go for your goals and go for your dreams. It means so much to me that I'm actually like, you know, making an impact in this world and really helping people. So, you know, if you guys ever need more help or anything like that, I am the mentorship, the Boss Queen mentorship is open now for an enrollment. All the links and everything is down in the description box always. So you guys can go on there and check out on nessanicole.com on the information regarding the mentorship. You guys can also check out the free Facebook group where we are community, helping each other out and whatnot. Everything is always down below in the description box. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so when it comes to reaching out to vendors, talking to suppliers to help find either ingredients or products, bottle packaging, how do you reach out, how do you find these vendors? So I have made videos and talking about how to find vendors for packaging and whatnot, but I wanted to talk to you guys because if you guys don't know, the Beauty Packaging Hub has been rebranded and will be coming back just to the boss queen palace so i do have an etsy store where i like i sell vendor lists and whatnot down in the description box if you want you can check it out but i do sell vendor lists and i also sell like cosmetic equipment and i will be selling bottles and caps and packaging like i was doing before in the beauty packaging hub so it's just not going to be called the beauty packaging hub anymore it will just be called the boss queen palace so but besides the fact if you guys don't want to order from me or you guys don't have anything to do with me and you guys want to go into your own research i'm going to tell you guys some things that you guys can talk to suppliers and ask questions all right so when you're looking more especially i'm talking about you guys all know how to use google you guys can easily go to google and search for whatever you want to search and just go straight and find whatever so a lot of these things i'm going to tell you guys are going to be for suppliers that are mainly for overseas because i feel like that's where people are more like scared and they're always coming to me because they don't know what to say because they're like not in this country they feel like if they get scammed like that's it and you know that's it and it's kind of true because it's not like a business here in the United States where if something was to happen, you know, credit cards and banks and everything like that can protect you. But using AliExpress and Alibaba is safe and secured and express, especially AliExpress. I don't know too much about Alibaba because I mainly use AliExpress, but I'm pretty sure Alibaba is close to the same systems and whatnot. But with AliExpress, they do have like a secured system where if something doesn't come, you can always dispute it. It does sometimes take a while I've never really lost a dispute, honestly, and I've been shopping on AliExpress for like five years for business and for pleasure. And so it's just kind of like if something ever happens or an order never comes, you can dispute it and they will give your money back. So it is pretty secure. Sometimes it seems scary. The only biggest concern is getting products that look a certain way on AliExpress or Alibaba and then they're not when you get them when they're like in your hand. So some things I would, you know, recommend that you ask and you make sure you're aware of when you're reaching out to suppliers and this is mainly for overseas but it works just as well for us suppliers is you always want to read their reviews you want to see how many orders that they have if they're a new company it's a little a little more sketchy but if you know of companies that have been you can see on aliexpress how many sales that they've made you can see reviews and whatnot first always go and read the reviews Next, what I do is I always contact the, the supplier. Even if I don't think I'm going to buy from them, I want to see how fast the respond rate is and what they're going to say. So I always, almost, if I'm like interested and might buy it, I will always message them. Even if I message like five people that are selling the same thing, I first go next into the customer service. Who's going to respond to me the fastest? Who's going to give me like those answers and questions right off the back that I don't even have to ask and things like that. Next up, especially if you're doing bulk orders, like if you're trying to buy, for example, like bottles or like lip gloss tubes or anything like that, you wanna always know the MOQ. And what is the MOQ? The MOQ is the minimum order quantity. So you always wanna know the minimum order quantity of whatever manufacturer you're buying from. So for on AliExpress, 
Alibaba, sometimes the MOQ can be anywhere from 50 to like 5,000 units, where that means you have to buy that many units at that price in order to get that price. Whereas on, sometimes on AliExpress, the MOQ is a little bit smaller, I mean. So sometimes you can get bundles of like five or like 50 or 100, and so it's a lot more affordable for people. As well as getting MOQs, what I like to do in my strategy is I always go for, for example, if I need 100 units of something, I always go for a supplier that maybe is offering 50. And then I'll ask him if I was to order 100, if he could give me a discount. So, and most of the time they will say yes, they'll give you like 5 to 10% off. So you always try to want to not really hustle, but hustle, you know, your money down a little bit. Most suppliers sometimes they will give you discount. Some won't. They'll say this is the deepest. So you really just have to do your research and look for other suppliers who possibly might offer you a better deal. Another recommendation is you can always order a sample. So if you're ordering from AliExpress or Alibaba, you can usually order a sample. If you order from the US, sometimes depending on what it is, you can't really order a sample. Sometimes you can. Sometimes that sample might just be like a pack of six and then you get stuck with maybe six if it doesn't work out. So I would always recommend asking for a sample if it's something that like maybe it's something really specific that like you're wanting for a skincare like jar or bottle or, or something. But if it's a simple like, you know, like a, a, a bullet bottle just because you want to put some like shampoo or conditioner in it, most of the time they're going to come the way that they look. But it's always good to have samples to see the quality of the bottle, if it's thick, if it's flimsy, if it breaks while it's coming, and things like that. Another question that you guys can always ask your supplier, especially if you're doing stuff like say accessories or maybe would want like a customizable logo, you can always ask your supplier if they offer customization for whatever you are doing. Some things to look out for is if you see like a supplier who hasn't had too many orders, that means that they're a new factory and they might not have the highest quality products. They might say that they can do everything, but their shipping times might be off because you know they're new and they're still getting everything in process or they might not have the hookups with like the fastest shipping people. So I always like to go on AliExpress and when I go on AliExpress, it's really easy because you can go in there, search whatever you want and then literally click the orders button and it'll show you the suppliers who are offering that product and who's had the most orders. So I usually just go straight to that person first and then I'll go in and most of the time they'll have the most reviews and so that's like a little bit more trustworthy than somebody who's maybe had like one or two sales but they've been in business for five years. You know what I mean? So when you're reaching out to suppliers, because I did tell you some things to look out for and some things that to be aware of is to always be professional. For me, because I'm so busy, I don't like going back and forth like what's your MOQ? Oh, what colors do you offer like every day? Like I literally just say, hey, I'm looking for this. What is your MOQ? Like I write all the answers in one message and then send the message because they're probably busy too. And if you literally just are needing a couple questions asked, you can have it all answered in one text and then figure out your decision rather than going back and forth for days, forgetting that you messaged them, coming back in a month, messaging them. It's like, no, that's what I used to do. Now I'm just like, sorry, I'm asking 20 questions, but this is what I need to know to know if I'm going to move forward or not. Also, don't be afraid to talk to them. Remember, you're the boss. They're a boss too, but you're a boss and you're buying from them. They need you just as much as you need them. So always make sure that you're the supplier that you're going to purchase from is somebody who is communicating with you in a timely manner because if something happens, you want to make sure that you know that they were communicating with you. And so if they don't, then you can like, you know, use that for your dispute. You don't want to be, you know, working with somebody who's not going to be communicating communicating with you, especially if something goes wrong with your order. Another thing is always, 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 because I've had a lot of problem over the years, is always ask them their processing and shipping times. Okay, that's like the main thing. Because sometimes when you order, they'll say it'll be here in a certain time and frame, and it won't. So I always like to order. Them, ask them like, okay, what? How long is it going to take you to process this and ship it? Honestly, how long is it going to honestly take to get to me? Like, if I need to pay thirty to fifty dollars more to make sure it gets to me five days faster, like I want to know the option. You know, so those are some things that you really need to look out for, especially if you're buying overseas and at a time when there's a pandemic and things can take four to eight to 12 weeks. Like you want to make sure that you're prepared for those weeks. OK, and not just be kind of like left in the dust and then, you know, your money out of your pocket. Maybe the season's gone by and you don't need these things anymore. So it's like you just want to be asking the most questions about everything. Um, if it's like you're doing private labeling, you want to ask them like, what are your ingredients? What is, can I have samples? You know, like these are all things that can go across the board for when you're trying to reach out to vendors and trying to figure out, 
you know, how to contact them, how to reach them and things to t and ways to talk to them. Some people are like afraid. They don't really know like what to say because they don't know what to ask. And so I hope that this video helped you guys. And yeah, so I'm going to leave it here because this video series is supposed to be short and I'm trying to keep every video under 10 minutes. So if you guys like this video, make sure that you guys subscribe and like this video and comment down below another video. Maybe you guys want to see of this type of quick little sit down chit chat series, just kind of going into detail about things, you know, things that you may, you may be wondering or simple questions like this. So thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support and I'll see you guys on the next video. Woo!